Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing really good. You know, I wanted to get on here again and share a little chat with Ray, with all of my friends and family out here in the YouTube community. In my last one, it was more of a rant. And I have to admit that there was a lot of frustration that was building up. Because what I see is that all of us, you, you, and you way back there, hey, that's not cool. You too, though. And you, hey, you with the spatula. We all know what's happening. We all know what's going on. We're watching as the pile gets higher and higher and higher and higher. Did any of you watch the news today on the IRS scandals? You know, <laughs> it's all going to come down. It's all going to come down. You remember the uh, one that we just did here a while back, not in my name? No wars, not in my name. Remember, Linda started that. And it was powerful. It spoke volumes. It certainly did. It made a difference. But the problem I see is not that we don't know what's going on. All of us know what's going on. We see it. We hear it. I mean, how can we not? How can we not? It's everywhere. And as I said, the pile's just getting higher and higher and higher. We see it. We talk about it. We bring them up. We share videos. We share news articles. We share blog posts. We share all these different things, making each other aware of the ins and the outs, the in-betweens of what the issue is. The no war, not, uh, not in my name. I have no doubt in my mind that we would have gone to Syria had Linda not started us on the right path. And Linda says, I thank you. I thank you for that. And I'm sure many, 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 many others do too. Because that's not where we belonged. Well, today our issues are Fukushima, chemtrails, Benghazi, IRS scandal, Wall Street scandals, and the list goes on and on just gets bigger. President the lies to us. Obamacare. And if you're 55 and on Medicaid, you better watch out for that one. Because in there, there's a clause that says, should you pass away? Should you die? Everything that is in your name, everything you own, including your house and your bedroom slippers, belongs to them. For reimbursement. Obamacare is a joke, it's a lie, it's a deception. It certainly is. And we know that because Obama, his legacy, Obamacare, with his name stamped on it, stands before us and lies about it. So what do we do about all this? We do know the problems. How do we go about solving it? Let's go back to No War Not My Name. We get on the right path. Here's the deal. We need to group up in teams. Mark brought up a, a wonderful video a while ago. And in his video, he made a suggestion of a color code. You know, like the VA does. Gold team, red team, blue team, white team. We get together in our teams. Many of us can travel. Those people can go and meet up with each other. Some of us can't travel. I'm one that couldn't travel. Not because I'm not able to travel, but because the inconvenience with my mother to care for, three children to care for, day schooling, homeschooling, and my husband's health. There's many reasons that I couldn't travel. Not to mention the financial end of it. You know, you've heard me say before, I'm about as dirt poor as dirt poor can get. 
and yet I'm the richest woman in the world. So how do we do this? We need people that can group up that will handle phones, getting on the phone, calling our representatives day after day after day after day, hammering them, not just addressing the problem, but getting on the phones and reminding them every day. Weeping Willow, too, you got the right idea, but we need a group of people that will do it every day. We need people that will write emails and letters every day, put out petitions every day. We need people that can get on and make the videos and bring all the information forward. And we need to stay on this, not till the dust settles. You know, we lucked out on that, uh, not in my name. We lucked out on it. Because as soon as the dust started settling, we went right off onto another subject. We need to continue on this until people are brought out with cuffs. They're arrested or they're set up to where they're going to go to court and they're going to have to face the judge and they're going to be prosecuted for the crimes for which they're guilty. And we need to stay on it until that's resolved, until the jail door slams, that clank. We need to stay on it until that happens. So we need to get together in groups. We need people to organize. And we need to stay on it, guys. We need to put an end to the chemtrails, the GMOs. We need to put an end and get answers to every one of these scandals. We need to insist on truth and nothing but the truth, so help them God. Oh, I know that's not politically correct anymore, but we need the truth. We need the truth, and we need to settle for nothing less than the truth. Friends and family, we are brilliant. There are some of the greatest minds out here, people that are so smart. We are all very intellectually matched for the most part. There is no reason that we cannot get this energy going because when you get the collective energy of all of us, there is nothing more powerful. So there's my idea. And I think if you agree, I think we can get it together. And I know some of you have even greater ideas. We've got to get it together in groups, in unity, uniform, like a marching army, a fine lubed gear where everything fits. And we need to stay on it. Not until the dust settles, but until the landscape is set. This is our earth. This belongs to us. And they're going way over, way over. The Fukushima thing, I read today where they're actually going to blame the cancers on too much sugar and people that use tobacco. They're going after tobacco and sugar now because they can't fix their mess. We need to say no. No. We were born with rights. We have the right to make our own choices. And we've let them take control of that for far too long. So are you with me? Can we do this? Is it a good idea or not? Share with me, would, would you please? Thumbs up. Comment down below. Thumbs down if you disagree. Let me know why. Let's figure this out. I'm on your team. Are you on mine? I love you all. Great big hugs. And we'll chat again. It's been nice. Catch you guys later.